Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, clean up your voiceover with audio ducking in Adobe Audition. All right, so two things, cleaning up and ducking. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about having an audio, voiceover, and music, and the two fighting each other. So we're going to clean that up. And we could do that manually, or we could use automatic ducking. Ducking meaning that the music will duck itself underneath, as if you're moving a fader down and up and down and up every, ting every single time the voiceover happens. Let's go have a look. So I've got an audio track in the top, so let's solo that. Keep her safe. But when a secret from her past. And down at the bottom, I have some music. And when I play the two together, let's listen to the music will duck when the voice speaks. His job was simple. Keep her safe. But when a secret from her past leads to murder at the top, promises turn to threats. So I'm going to just solo the music, and you'll hear the music ducking all by itself. So how do we achieve that? Well, the very first and easiest way to do this is in the file menu, New, Multitrack Session, and choose the template, Radio VoiceOver with Music Ducking. You can uh, just leave it as that, Click OK. Uh, oop, it's telling me that I already have a session called that. So let's name it something useful, ducking. And here is my voiceover track. And this is my music track in here. Let's open those up a little bit. And that's where I wanted to start the music. So I'm just going to trim this and put it over here. And what you'll notice is that there are effects already applied. Dynamics processing is in the music track. A multiband compressor and hard limiter are on the master. We're not really going to look into these. We're going to look at the dynamic processor. If I double click on this, you can see that it's cutting down um, the signal. So anything that goes above there will be cut down. And if we go into the settings, there's an attack and release time that it's looking for, and then it's in the gain, an attack and a release time. So what those are doing is they're looking ahead at the sound of the voice, and then they're turning things up and down. So if they, if they tend to sound like they're pumping, if they're moving too fast, um, then you need to slow that down, and that's the release time of the gain processor. If you change that, then it will slowly lift that back up instead of constantly going back up. So you could play with those. But what's really important is up here, this little button is turned on, the side chain input. And you can see it's set to stereo right now. And if we click in here, we can look at the routing. The left and the right are coming from the voiceover slot right over there. So they're sending their signal into the uh, processor. So whenever it plays... That was simple. Keep her safe. But when a secret from her past leads to murder at the top. And if we really want to hear this pronounced, I'm, I'm going to take this down on purpose. Promises turn to threats, and truth disappears into shadow. And let's no change the release time. Nothing is what it seems. You can see with the release time, it's not popping that up. There's one other really important uh, element in here, and that's to make sure the send is sending from the voiceover track to that. So in Audition, these four buttons here will take you from the inputs, the effects, the sends, and the EQ. So if we go to the sends, sure enough, you can see there is a send in there, sidechain dynamics processor. That's already set inside there. So that whole chain of things, all those effects, and that chain, remember, was put together by um, using that template, the, the radio voiceover with music ducking template. So there's our final result. Again, I'm going to mute the, the dialogue so you can hear the audio.
And if I wanted to, I could take the same track. Don't delete the music track, just get rid of the music, drop in another track, and it's gonna duck on a completely different track. Now remember, I'm really pushing it here so that you can hear it. You can have it very subtle and dump that down a little bit. So side chaining and ducking, great features inside Adobe Audition to help you clean up your voiceover. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have then please click on the subscribe button to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then click the link that's in the description for your free 30 day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith. and It's my job to get you looking your best.